Hey guys, welcome to the Dyson Sphere program. My name is Tom and this is episode number 26. In today's episode, we're going to continue to work with the fractionator and trying to produce deuterium. I do want to say thank you to my viewers for giving me some tips and tricks on how to operate the fractionator. I think I understand it now. So with that said guys, let's get started with a layout of deuterium fractionator. Okay, so the first thing is to test out some of the tips and tricks that I received in the comments in the last video. So I'm going to test that first and then if it works, then I will think of a layout for the fractionators. So the first thing I need to do is use a splitter for the hydrogen. We have an output for the deuterium, which are going into this tank here. We have uh, 75 deuterium. So to keep with the infinite loop here, the way I want to bring in the hydrogen is through a splitter. The issue I was having is that if I connect this line of hydrogen to this belt here, the belt has priority over the belt that's going around the fractionator, which is an issue. So we can mitigate that by adding a splitter to the infinity loop. And I'm going to do that right now and we're going to test that out. So I'm going to delete some of these belts here. And I'm going to put a splitter here. And then I'm going to go in with the hydrogen. And uh, OK, it looks like I need to go over one belt here. So I'll put that in here. And then we'll put the splitter here. And so this should go in to here. And let's give this power and, and see what happens. Okay, so I think the angle of the splitter is wrong because if I put the splitter back here, it's still stopping this line of hydrogen. So I can set a filter for hydrogen. Okay, that's not going to work. Yeah, it still has priority on the bottom belt here. So maybe the splitter is in the wrong position here. What if... What if I put the splitter at the top here? And then I do something like this. Okay. So this is going to work because when a hydrogen is depleted off the belt, another hydrogen from the splitter will go onto this belt when there's a slot available.
Okay. So, what if I clear out some of the hydrogen here? Yeah, that, that's going to work. That is going to work, guys. I, I think this is it. I think this is the layout we need to do. Look at that, see? It just um, populated the, the infinity loop with another hydrogen. So it's just a matter of positioning the splitter correctly on the infinity loop. You want to put it at the top back side of the, the infinity loop instead of the side here. Okay. All right, so let's, um, what I want to do is throw all this hydrogen in my inventory back into the tank. Like that. And um, we can delete this for now. We'll have the output of the deuterium to come out like this. Okay. And we can reposition this belt to go on to this grid line here. Okay, and then we'll delete that belt. Okay, so the next thing is we can do it, we, we can do the same thing, but on the other side. So we can grab a fractionator and we're going to say we want it so it's a belt that goes out like this we'll trim this back one okay and then we go like this or is that too close still yeah it's a little too close so go like this and then we make our infinity loop like that. Um, that's a little too wide here. Like that. And then we can put And then we can put our power or Tesla towers here. And then we can reposition this to be like that. And then we can do like this. And there we go. And then we just do the output. Okay. Is that going to work? For some reason, this is not working. And that's not working because we're full of deuterium, right? Correct. Okay. Okay, uh, we have figured it out, guys. Thank you so much for all your tips um, for the fractionator awesome okay so 
from here, we can use our blueprint and we can do something like this. And then we can hit the use now button. And we should just be able to smack it down. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> like this. Awesome. Okay. We definitely need to get more drones for Icarus. Yeah, this whole blueprint is just a, a really nice, um, a nice touch to the game. So I hate, I, I think this is going to be enough fractionators. Almost one megawatt, almost one megawatt of of power so yeah they consume a lot of power come on little drones you can do it And then we'll have to go pick up some fractionators from our storage. Okay. All right, let's uh, go pick some fractionators up. Sweet. So now all we need to do is connect the belts. So we'll start with the hydrogen. like this okay and now all the fractionators are being populated <laughs> cool okay um so now we just need to do the output. Yeah, look at all this deuterium we have. We have so much deuterium. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and then um, we can put a storage tank Don't worry guys, we're going to We're going to proliferate our, our deuterium. So we'll do that. And then we'll put a spray coater on like this. Okay, and then we'll do the same for the other side. But 
It might be a little too far out. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, the, the fraction here did definitely uh, cause me to stumble. This was definitely the hardest mechanic to understand. Only because there's really no tutorials. this spray coater right here and then we can use a belt to carry the spray coater over like this and then we just need to give the spray coater some power okay sweet and then we can always um, ex expand this further out here if we need to. All right, um, time to get this the the proliferator. That's what I'm thinking of. The proliferator. We need to get that over here. So I'm thinking the best way to do that is to come over hmm what if we did this we deleted that and then over like this and then we go in and then we come over like this Oh great, yeah. We can't get it over our solar panels. Damn it. Okay, well then we'll have to We'll have to come over with it over here. So we can do something like this. And then we could come down like that. Okay, and then we need to find the grid line for this. So I think we could come over here with it. We can either go on the side like this or we can go over the top like this. I think we we go on the side. Yeah, I think we go on the side.
Okay, excellent. So here comes our proliferator. <laughs> I went. I should never delete that Tesla tower. We'll just move it back over here. And then um, we can switch this belt like that. And then all we need to do is get the proliferator to go through here. Here it comes. Okay, excellent. So now our deuterium is proliferated and in it goes. Okay. We did it, guys. Sweet. Oof. Yeah, that, that got me stumped for sure. Look at all this deuterium. Oh, it's so beautiful. We have so much of it. And then we can stick the deuterium in here. Like that. And look at them all work, guys. Look at them all go. <laughs> cool. Definitely our biggest build so far of the Dyson Sphere program. One step closer to the Dyson Sphere. I don't know how all of this that we have made is going to work into the Dyson Sphere. No idea. But uh, I'm sure it all will come together in the end. And we will produ produce a Dyson Sphere eventually. Excellent. Well, guys, um, I think I'll end the episode here for today, episode number 26. Um, in this episode, all I wanted to do is figure out the deuterium fractionator, do a build, proliferate it, and, and be done with it. And uh, we have achieved that in episode 26. Thanks to you guys. Okay, I wonder what we're going to use this stuff for. We're going to have a lot of it. Cool, guys. Well, um, you guys have a good day. I'm going to have a good day here. We'll see you in episode number 27. I think in episode number 27, we will begin crystal smelting. So... I'll activate that, and then in episode 27, we'll start uh, crystal smelting. And basically, my strategy is just to go down the, the list of technologies, right? So I got this whole line done. Now I'm going to go down this line here, and then down the other lines. I'm not sure if that's a great strategy, but that's what I'm going to do. Uh, with that said, guys, again, take care. Have a good day. Bye.